Right now, I'm going to be on the local recording on the SD card of my S5 Mark II. And then right now, I'm going to switch to the OBS recording of those same settings. And this is the same image going into ProPresenter being recorded through its capture settings. Okay, I'm back again. Been doing more tests on the USB output from the ATEM Mini Extreme here in my office. In the tests from my previous video, which you haven't watched, I'll link in the description, we go through and we compare some test patterns from the local recording onto a hard drive versus uh, the USB input into my MacBook in things like ProPresenter or just testing with QuickTime, OBS, things like that. And then even the Constellation USB versus HyperDeck recording. So yeah, we got into some of the nitty gritty of that stuff, but there may be a couple of fixes that we could talk about solutions if you really want to utilize the USB output as a webcam into OBS or ProPresenter. So let's bring this into OBS. So right now what you're seeing is a test pattern coming from ProPresenter 7. And then that is going into my A10 Mini Extreme via HDMI. And then back out of the A10 Mini Extreme via USB-C into the MacBook. And then in OBS, we have a new device, a video capture device, not a Blackmagic device. That's not what how you get it into OBS in case that stumps you. So you're going to do new video capture device. And then this is the screen that's going to come up is this use the preset high. You would think that would be great. But if you look right here, you can see, again, it's crushing these black levels. And people have said that it's using different gamma levels, like wide range versus normal range, and it's not interpreting it correctly. So these are the settings that I find get it back to where it should be. You're going to go in and undo the use preset in your uh, settings here in OBS, change your frame rate, your resolution to match, and then here it's going to auto select the input format you're going to change color space to rec 709 and change video range to full and to my eye that looks extremely close to what we are outputting from ProPresenter. how about if we go to my camera right now i'm going to be on the local recording on the sd card of my s5 mark ii and then right now, I'm going to switch to the OBS recording of those same settings. And this is the same image going into ProPresenter being recorded through its capture settings. Unfortunately, you can't adjust the camera like you can in OBS. But you can use that OBS virtual camera as your device in ProPresenter as a workaround. But let's dive a little bit deeper here. If that camera looked correct, then that's very interesting. You could use the OBS virtual camera to come into ProPresenter and, or you could just stream from OBS. Now, what about graphics from my computer? Why are they looking different? Possibly it's the color profile. I've heard from people that the BMD HDMI color profile from your MacBook into an ATEM is actually not the best representation. So let's go in here and try this other one that has been recommended instead of the BMD HDMI which you can see its output right here compared to this output. It doesn't really match perfectly. We got brighter greens, not as bright on the grayscale. Let's change this from BMD HDMI all the way down to Simpty C. And it does appear that the black levels are correct now. To my eye, it looks like the green is a little bit more saturated and bright in the blue uh, there than what we're outputting from ProPresenter, but it's a lot better than what it was, right? Before we were at BMD HDMI. And the last thing I'll touch on is that some people have said with the new update to the A10 Mini Pro and Extremes, you know, you can use the USB-C now as a multi-view and use HDMI output, which is uncompressed and doesn't have these issues, into a capture device like an Elgato Cam Link or one of the cheap Amazon, you know, HDMI to USB-C adapters, and that works well. The problem is your multi-view over the USB-C is actually a UVC 
input so it's seen as a webcam so you cannot do USB-C multi-view up to a TV with a like a HDMI to USB-C cable the only workaround that I know of is buying a UVC to HDMI box adapter and uh, there's a couple that are out there I will link to one in the description of this video that if that is a way that you want to do that you can you know, there's so many variables when it comes to color space and cables and different things like that. So I wonder if my comparisons of the a to mini Extreme test pattern versus the Constellations test pattern recording over to the HyperDeck is all just a little bit off because of, you know, I'm coming out of a deck link with SDI. Color profile is different than coming out of, as you've seen, the HDMI with that old BMD to HDMI. BMD HDMI color space profile instead of the other one. So take that for what it's worth. If you do want the best picture quality and you're using the USB-C out, it is gonna take some fiddling with. Um, don't just think that it's just gonna work perfectly right when you plug it into your computer into OBS or ProPresenter. Take the time to dial that in. And I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're someone who wants to dive even deeper into making your live stream the best it can be, check out my course that I've just released, Next Level Live Streaming on a Budget, linked in the description. Remember guys, we can do a lot of great things. Let's do it all for God's glory. We'll see you in the next one.